uh, <clears throat> women. You know, no, I, I talk about women all the time. I love women. Really, I love women. You know, my mother's a woman. You know, my wife is a woman too. You know, I, I love women. But women do vex mankind so much. You know, women are the most powerful creatures that were ever created by God. Do you know that? Do you know that? The older men are just going, yeah, I'm funny. She would she will. No, seriously, women, do you agree? Yes. yes. You are the most powerful creations that were made by God. Because you have the power to cause wars. <laughs> no, let's go back in history. I mean, let's go back right in ancient history. Greece. When the guys went to you know, the Spartans and all that, they fought over women. Just over women. We do the same thing right here in Zimbabwe. We fight over women. Now, it's slightly different here in Zimbabwe. You know, when you go to a bar, uh, let's say, Tipita, uh, sorry, Tipperary, um, you, you fight, yeah, a few of you got that one, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we always fight over women, you know? And it's always because you have now paid a lot of money to buy a lot of ciders. Ciders are expensive, ladies. A man can buy a beer for a dollar. Ciders cost two to three dollars. So if he now invests in you, he's hoping for a return. <laughs> right? So now women now, you know, they know, they find I look good, I'm wearing my little mini skirt and all that, you know. And you are there, you're buying, you're buying. Then somebody else comes with a bit more swag than you. <laughs> Slightly more swag than you, a bit locks or something, or maybe some cool afro like mine. You know. Somebody comes over and just suddenly just looks at it and says, Sign language. You buy sign language. You know, if you're stealing a woman from another guy, you don't go and speak. You don't speak. If you're stealing a woman from a guy in a bar, you don't speak. You just come there, you buy something expensive. Make sure it's make sure you're very loud when you order this expensive thing at a bar. Even at Tipperary's, you know, the outside bar. You can do that. You just sit there and you just go, famous girls, double and soda. You know? You do that. So you make sure she's there and she hears you. So these women, you know, usually they hear that and say, that's expensive. That's about five dollars. This guy's dropping there. This guy's buying two dollar ciders. Then she'll turn and kind of look at you like that and then turn back to this guy. So she's noticed you. So now you know. So you sip it, you sip it, you wait for her to turn. When she turns, you just go. <laughs> Sign language. That's all it is. You know? Now women are very very, very adept at closing a guy while he's sitting there. He's buying her all these things. He's buying his own beers, so he's obviously drunk. She'll turn around and say, I want to speak to my cousin. Do talk. I'm coming back. <laughs> She'll swivel around. Hi. Yeah. And then she's looking at you now. You know what I mean? And this guy is going to say, Ah, Dave! <laughs> Dave! Ah, Bambo! Ah, Dave! <laughs> yeah. Relative! Oh, you, oh, you know him! <laughs> I know him too, yeah! Yeah. Now you got swag, he says, I know you bummed out. Oh, I wish you, Castle. Mommy, give me a coat. Da, drink your coat, but drink it there. Yeah, just, 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 go, yeah, just go there. And you speak to the woman, you know what I mean? Then she'll switch from you. Women do that all the time. So I, I was amazed at this. Now I saw something, because I've been married, uh, I've been married five years now, but I've been together with my wife for 12 years. That's a long damn time. You're laughing, Dad. 